The Ohio Motion Picture Tax Incentive brought big movies here like The Avengers, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and White Boy Rick all to Cleveland. But now state representatives want to eliminate that incentive in the House budget proposal. So tonight, the Greater Cleveland Film Commission hosted a rally to try to save the tax break. Tiffany Tarpley explains what could be next. Sure, we all remember the hype and excitement, but for Ali Toman, it's how she got her start in the film industry, and it was right here in Cleveland. My very first big movie was The Avengers. I was hired as a production assistant. Now she's a second assistant director who, after some time away in Pittsburgh and L.A., recently came back home. Tonight, she's one of dozens of people fighting to save film jobs in Ohio. House lawmakers passed legislation getting rid of the $40 million motion picture tax credit to cut income taxes instead. While on the other hand, the Greater Cleveland Film Commission is leading the charge to increase the incentive to $100 million. These jobs are no different than construction jobs. This is the new manufacturing. People work from movie to movie to movie, um, and they're full-time equivalent jobs. We can't be in the business of simply handing out tax credits to industries saying they need our support. We have to look at the overall needs of the state and of the community. Zach Schiller works for Policy Matters Ohio, a nonprofit research institute that believes the money set aside for the tax credit could be better spent elsewhere. As for Allie, she supports the credit, as well as her filmmaking future to continue in Cleveland, near her family. It just breaks my heart because I just moved home for this. If it's not here, I can't work here. I can't work full time here, and I'm going to have to move again. It's not a done deal. Now the next move is in the hands of the state Senate. Tiffany Tarpley, Channel 3 News.